All right, so dear students, welcome back to uh, this part of our uh, course on turbulent flows. So what we're going to have a look at in this part is the, um, the, the, the stochastic or the, uh, the random nature of, of turbulence. So um, you might be wondering, in fluid mechanics in general, we have uh, the Navier-Stokes equation, we have the momentum equation, we have the continuity equation and the energy equation. These are all mathematical tools uh, describing our physical system very, very uh, accurately. So how is it uh, that we need to have an entire course on turbulent flows? And um, what is actually the, the, the issue with, uh, with turbulent flows? And as an example, I want to give you here the, the flow in a turbulent, uh, in a turbulent channel. So what you see is a, a large eddy simulation of a, of a flow in a turbulent channel. So you have here the walls, one left and right. So, and uh, the, the, the color scale here then describes uh, the velocity field. So dark red is, uh, is a high velocity. Here at the walls, uh, the velocity is zero, so that's why it's dark blue. You can see here is also the velocity, the, 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 the uh, velocity profile. So it's parabolic in, in, in the laminar case. So in the laminar case, uh, if the Reynolds number is very low, the, 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 the flow is very well described. You can, uh, calculate this uh, velocity profile um, actually by hand uh, um, on, on a piece of paper. But now we, we're increasing the Reynolds number and we want to see what's going to happen there. So we're going to have a look at the velocity profile over here and we're going to look at uh, how the velocity is going to change here in this one point. Here's one point, the white point over there, and it's going to be plotted over here, the, the velocity as a function of time. So we'll start that now. You see, initially there's not much happening, but then there's going to be some small disturbances. And uh, uh, note that the disturbances here come from the center. That's more of a numerical artifact. The physical, in the physical world, they're coming more from the side. But you see, after a very short time, you see it's completely turbulent. That means you're not going to get uh, an, a very clean um, parabolic velocity profile anymore. Instead, uh, something very interesting is happening. And that is uh, that. Uh, you're getting a velocity profile that is changing over time all the time. So it's not um, uh, for, for one time step one, uh, one solution, but you have one for every time step one solution, but of course, but uh, it's changing uh, 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 all the time. And you see the velocity profile is now very, very red and it's changing. And if you look at the velocity in this point, initially it's uh, relatively constant when it's still alive now, but then when it starts to, trend, uh, to uh, become transient, uh, when when the, the, the transition to turbulence takes place, you see about here, if you look at that, then it suddenly becomes jumping up and down and up, up and down. And so you see the velocity profile at the same time becomes um, uh, uh, more, more round shaped. It's, uh, it's not a parabolic velocity profile anymore. And that is um, why we need to have, uh, have a look at uh, uh, turbulence in a little bit um, more a specific way, and you need to find ways how we can address this 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 issue. Okay, <clears throat> um, there's something else that uh, actually, even if you have the Navier-Stokes equation, you might be wondering, well, uh, if you're solving that, you can get get a very very nice solution. You can do the simulation of the the, the turbulent channel flow. Uh, what else do you need? And I want to show you another example, and that is from the textbook. If you now look at page 36. We have here the example of a, of a mathematical system, which is not an obvious Stokes equation. It's quite a bit uh, simpler here. You see you have three variables, x, y, and z, and you're describing it with this uh, partial differential equation. So these are the Lorentz equations. Uh, where they come from is not, not much of importance for this course, but uh, I just want to give it as an example here how a well-described mathematical system can be very difficult to address um, uh, in, in the real. So, you're having this mathematical system, and now you're using the initial condition here. And you're, uh, you're comparing now two cases. One is uh, where you have an initial condition x, is y, and zero, z at uh, zero, are going to be 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And the second example, x, y, and z are 0 0.100001. So just a tiny change. And 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So y and z you don't even change. And here you can see then the solution to that. Here for the first case, you see the function goes up and down, up and down, up and down. 
So it's somewhat like a little bit like turbulence, uh, and uh, it uh, looks a bit more stochastic. In the second case, we're changing the initial conditions just a tiny bit. You see, initially they, they look very similar, but then if you go more and more on, on in time, the, the, the functions look very, very different. And if you're now plotting, for example, the difference between these two solutions, initially they are pretty much the same, they're zero, but then the error is going to change, uh, the, the, the difference is going to change. Let me show you the, the same thing in, with our channel flow over here. Okay, here again you have two different channel flows, uh, both of them are uh, at, at a high Reynolds number. And uh, you see the upper one is a little bit different. It's, um, uh, I've just added a tiny bit of uh, random fluctuations, and the random fluctuations are less than 1% of the, the, the mean flow here. So you start out with a parabolic uh, velocity profile in, in, in the lower case, and the parabolic velocity profile in the upper case as well, but ju just added a tiny bit of uh, just random fluctuations. Now we can compare the, the velocity profile or the velocity distribution or the, the evol evolution in time in these points here, and so this, you see they're both identical in, in both cases. And you see blue is uh, the upper case, the red line is uh, the lower case. Um, both of these flows becomes tur become turbulent af after some time, and you see them, they're looking very similar, but uh, for, if you compare time step to time step, of course they, they are not. And if you now compare the, the, the velocity in these two points, you see they are also, initially they are very similar, but uh, uh, as you move on in time, they, they, they become uh, completely uncorrelated. And you see that these two flows actually look very similar in, in the case that they're, in the, in the sense that they're both turbulent and that um, they, they, uh, they're probably describing the, the same thing. But uh, both of these solutions are different. Uh, and uh, that is the reason why we need to find now tools, mathematical tools, to address this issue that uh, these uh, flows are, even though well described with the Navier-Stokes equation, they need to find uh, need to find other ways to analyze these flows. So, with that, we come to our conclusion. Essentially, we need to find statistical means, statistical descriptions of turbulent flows. So, even though the Navier-Stokes equations describes uh, the physical system well. Oops. Physical system well. Um, we need statistical tools to analyze the flows. And uh, in the following, uh, I'm going to now introduce a few of these uh, mathematical um, uh, tools that we can use. And um, uh, you're going to see that some of them are a little bit uh, dry from the mathematical point of view, but uh, I need you to bear with me, because uh, once you understand how these mathematical tools work, uh, they're very very powerful to, to analyze the flow. You can have a look at, uh, you, you can with, uh, draw quite, uh, quite a lot of conclusions out of uh, um, the, uh, the, the turbulent flow using these mathematical tools. Uh, for that, then, uh, uh, we're, we're going to follow on in the, in the next uh, segment.